fair path. Yo, guys, uh, Matt says, when I was in high school, there was a rumor going around that the band Yellow Card was going to appear and perform a free concert in the auditorium during the school day. Oh, my God. In 2008, when uh, Yellow Arc was still relevant, the rumor went on saying that it was an excuse to get all the students away so that drug-sniffing dogs would go through everyone's lockers. Oh, my lockers. God, this God. is the best! Oh, man. But what if someone didn't like Yellow Card? It was pretty ridiculous, but it still spread like wildfire. Uh, what are some of the dumbest rumors you heard in school? Oh, nothing, I remember... Nothing I want to repeat on this podcast. I remember uh, a, a dumb one that was just like, hey, you know that school across the street that's like the nun school and we hate all those kids and like constantly getting into fights with them and like it's a huge rival thing? Mm -hmm. You know Virgil Academy across the street? That's correct. Yeah, they're they're merging with us and then all our, their students are going to be in our student body. Cross. And we're like, that's insane. That'll never happen. Why would you send the Cobras against the Panthers meow and just <laughs> unleash them into what will surely be a bloody war? That's correct. And then they fucking fused the schools and then all those kids joined and it was... A bloody war. It was a bloody war. Where it was your life in, consumed by the troubles as a result? <laughs> it was just a, it was actually like, it was in the middle of like grade eight or so, and everyone was just like, oh, you weird kids. And I they're like, oh, hate fuck those you kids guys. Over from Bass High, man. Because they were the smaller school, and they were like, they had the, the like, the, the weirder kids, and they had, again, the nuns and stuff. But they were also the more extreme personality types. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, whereas we were like the larger, more American style school. I remember when we were in, uh, when we were, when I was in high school. No, it was elementary school. We got a batch of uh, homeschooled kids. For whatever reason, some law must have changed. And we just got like five or six homeschool kids. There was one kid, Daniel. For whatever reason, we were grade six. Might be the strongest person I've ever seen in my life. Like we all had he lifted a hundred pounds over his head. Yes, actually, because that mm. hundred pounds was Kyle. Okay, <laughs> and he fucked chuck. He fucking chucked Kyle like he was a football. He was a really nice guy, but we'd all be roughhousing, and he'd be like, D "Danny, you have to not. We're we're children. You are in the body of a man, and we will all die if you throw us like that." Um, he I was super smart too. In the playground in my <laughs> elementary school, there's this giant tree right behind the um, the uh, baseball like dugout thing, and kid said that a kid died uh, at the foot of that tree, like bashed his head against the 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 tree over and over again, and just died there. So you everyone would give it a wide berth, mm. just never kind of going there, and then. A marriage was doomed because we had like a fake playground marriage and of course I was not really invited as why would you invite me to this mm -hmm. but uh, they did it in front of the tree and everyone said your marriage is doomed because it's where the ghost kid is mm -hmm. I don't know what happened with them but I'm assuming I'm more successful than that marriage is they're right probably now, so. dead the year before I got to high school uh, there was that day when there was a rumor going around that a bunch of kids found a dead hobo in the bushes yeah. out on the field. And everyone's like, that's fucking crazy, whatever. And then in the sixth period at the end of the day, the speakers came on and the vice principal got on and said, we just want to let everybody know not to be alarmed, alarmed by the police disturbance outside <laughs> when you leave today. And that this occurrence has nothing to do with our school and no one and they, involved and was they, associated with our school whatsoever because there was quite literally a fucking hobo body. So you're body. walking out and you see, you see uh, Adachi and the rest of the cops hanging around <laughs> the telephone pole. And they're like, hey, kids, you get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite literally a dead hobo body right in our schoolyard. Uh, but that was, that, yeah, yeah, that actually happened. So um, the things with my school were all real. I remember there was a rumor... That uh, in my elementary school that our music teacher was insane. And the rumor came from, you know, he fucking punched Gabe in the face, right? Like, what? We're in elementary school. That's ridiculous. And then, sure enough, it was super real. <laughs> he had actually lost his temper and, like, punched one of the kids in the face. That's... And somehow kept his job! That's crazy. Tenure is powerful. <laughs> Tenure is fucking right? powerful. Now, to be fair... Gabe was a fucking shit oh, disturber. For sure. Oh, absolutely. Gabe, like, I, I look oh, back yeah. on this as an adult mm -hmm. and go, fuck, I wish I could have punched that kid oh, yeah. in the fucking mouth. But you're not supposed to do that. And there's tons of cell phone <laughs> videos nowadays of like teachers getting swung at yeah. where they can't do anything back. Yeah, the teachers going swing for <laughs> Right. 
Swing first. I can swing first. Uh, but uh, but that's uh, yeah, kids just running up to teachers and giving them tornado DDTs, and they can't really do anything. Yeah, yeah. All they can do is sell. All <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the few that decide to break kayfabe and break a child, like no one really. <laughs> Crowns that hard at them, they kind of go like, "Yeah, we get it. You're still fired, but we get it." Back in TNA, Jeff Jarrett got a gimmick where he's tapping out kids. He's going to like, like karate like classes for little kids, and his gimmick was he just puts them in figure fours, and he's like, "Yeah, no one can beat me." It's a fucking awesome gimmick. It's super good. That's a really good gimmick. Follow my camera around. Tapping out yeah. kids. Yeah, strong. Their legs are too tiny. I can't put them in these complicated holes. Damn it. It's figure four, and it's pretty much it. Shouldn't have fought me. <laughs> That's what you got. That's what happens to you when you mess with killers. Mr. Jarrett, you came to my karate class. <laughs> 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 what? what? Like I, I hope that he get like that's old oh, that that bit ends with him running from the parents and getting in a vehicle of some no, kind he, and he driving runs away, away from the parents and he, he hides behind the corner of the building and when the dad comes around he hits <sighs> him with like a fake guitar yeah there you go and then he sings I hate rap God what the fuck is that quote from Jr like he broke like ten thousand it's not from Jr but it's from some other guy it's like he broke ten thousand guitars and never drew a single dime <laughs> fuck off Jeff Jr. <laughs> 